A music tracker, short version tracker is a type of music sequencer software for creating music. The music is represented as discrete musical notes positioned in several channels at discrete chronological positions on a vertical timeline. A music tracker's user interface is usually number-based. Notes, parameter changes, effects and other commands are entered with the keyboard into a grid of fixed time slots as codes consisting of letters, numbers and hexadecimal digits. Separate patterns have independent timelines, a complete song consists of a master list of repeated patterns. Later trackers departed from solely using module files, adding other options both to the sound synthesis hosting generic synthesizers and effects or MIDI output and to the sequencing MIDI input and recording, effectively becoming general purpose sequencers with a different user interface. Music trackers like Defilmask and Famitracker are commonly used to create chiptunes. Topic. History Topic. 1987, Origins on the Amiga The term tracker derives from Ultimate Sound Tracker, the first tracker software written by Karsten Obarski and released in 1987 by EAS Computer Technic for the Commodore Amiga. Ultimate Sound Tracker was a commercial product, but soon shareware clones such as Noise Tracker appeared as well. The general concept of step sequencing samples numerically, as used in trackers, is also found in the Fairlight CMI sampling workstation of the early 1980s. Some early tracker-like programs appeared for the MSX, Yamaha CX-5M, and Commodore 64 before 1987, such as Sound Monitor, but these did not feature sample playback, instead playing notes on the computer's internal synthesizer. Later, programs like Rock Monitor also supported additional sample playback, usually with short drum samples loaded in RAM memory. The first trackers supported four pitch and volume modulated channels of 8-bit PCM samples, a limitation derived from the Amiga's Pala audio chipset and the commonplace 8SVX format used to store sampled sound. However, since the notes were samples, the limitation was less important than those of synthesizing music chips. Topic. 1990s, MS-DOS PC versions During the 1990s, tracker musicians gravitated to the PC as software production in general switched from the Amiga platform to the PC. Although the IBM and compatibles initially lacked the hardware sound processing capabilities of the Amiga, with the advent of the Sound Blaster line from Creative, PC audio slowly began to approach CD quality 44.1 kHz, 16-bit, stereo, with the release of the Sound Blaster 16. Another sound card popular on the PC tracker scene was the Gravis Ultrasound, which continued the hardware mixing tradition, with 32 internal channels and onboard memory for sample storage. For a time, it offered unparalleled sound quality and became the choice of discerning tracker musicians. Understanding that the support of tracker music would benefit sales, Gravis gave away some 6,000 GUS cards to participants. Coupled with excellent developer documentation, this gesture quickly prompted the GUS to become an integral component of many tracking programs and software. Inevitably, the balance was largely redressed with the introduction of the Sound Blaster AWE32 and its successors, which also featured onboard RAM and wavetable or sample table mixing. The responsibility for audio mixing passed from hardware to software the main CPU, which gradually enabled the use of more and more channels. From the typical four mod channels of the Amiga, the limit had moved to seven with TFMX players and eight, first with Octalizer and later with the vastly more popular Octomed all Amiga programs, then 32 with ScreamTracker 3 and FastTracker 2 on the PC and on to 64 with Impulse Tracker PC and Med Sound Studio Amiga and later PC. An Amiga tracker called Symphony Pro even supported 256 channels. As such, hardware mixing did not last. 
As processors got faster and acquired special multimedia processing abilities e.g. MMX and companies began to push hardware abstraction layers like DirectX, the AW and GUS range became obsolete. DirectX, WDM and, now more commonly, ASIO, deliver high-quality sampled audio irrespective of hardware brand. There was also a split off from the sample based trackers taking advantage of the OPL2, OPL3 chips of the Sound Blaster series. Adlib Tracker 2, Reality Adlib Tracker V2, and others survived to this day. All Sound Tracker was able to combine both the FM synthesis of the OPL chips and the sample based synthesis of the EMU 8000 chips in the Sound Blaster OS series of cards as well as MIDI output to any additional hardware of choice. Topic. 2000s, multiple platforms Tracker music could be found in computer games of the late 1990s and early 2000s, such as the Unreal series, Deus Ex, Crusader, No Remorse, Jazz Jackrabbit and Uplink. Tracker software continues to develop. Some of the early Amiga trackers such as ProTracker and Octomed have received various updates, mostly for porting to other platforms. ProTracker having resumed development in 2004, with plans for releasing version 5 to Windows and Amigaus, but only version 4.0 Beta 2 for Amigaus has been released. Other cross-platform trackers include Renoise, Milky Tracker and Sunvox. Buzz, OpenMPT, Renoise, Cycle, and others offer features undreamed of back in the day improved signal-to-noise ratios, automation, VST support, internal DSPs and multi-effects, multi-IO cards support etc. In 2005, Famatracker, a tracker for the NES and Famicom, was officially released. As a version 0.5 beta, it is so far the only tracker for the system with full expansion audio support including the Sunsoft 5B. During 2007, Renoise and OpenMPT were presented in Computer Music Magazine as professional and inexpensive alternative to other music production software. Topic. 2010's, current state In 2010, Modplug Tracker Open MPT and Renoise were two of the most popular and actively developed trackers. Four new trackers, AODIX, Bouze, Radium, and Svar Tracker, had extended the tracker concept with new features such as piano roll, tickless events, and graphical automation. The development of Jeskala Buzz was resumed and regularly updated until January 2016. In 2011, Defilmask was released, a multi system chip music tracker, supporting Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, Nintendo Game Boy, Yamaha's Smaf, among other systems. Sonnet Live and Bassoon Tracker are two trackers running in the web browser. Adlib Tracker 2 has been steadily updated and became open source and a new version of Reality Adlib Tracker was released after 23 years. Trackers have also appeared as plugins for other DAWs. Two examples of this are Revisit which can serve as a general purpose VSTi and the open source Hacky Tracky which serves as a plugin for Reaper. Trackers have found their way into Eurorack modular synthesizers with the introduction of the NerdSeq module. Topic. Terminology There are several elements common to any tracker program, samples, notes, effects, tracks or channels, patterns, and orders. A sample is a small digital sound file of an instrument, voice, or other sound effect. Most trackers allow a part of the sample to be looped, simulating a sustain of a note. A note designates the frequency at which the sample is played back. By increasing or decreasing the playback speed of a digital sample, the pitch is raised or lowered, simulating instrumental notes e.g. C, C sharp, D, etc. An effect is a special function applied to a particular note. These effects are then applied during playback through either hardware or software. Common tracker effects include volume, portamento, vibrato, retrigger, and arpeggio. A track or channel is a space where one sample is played back at a time. 
Whereas the original Amiga trackers only provided four tracks, the hardware limit, modern trackers can mix a virtually unlimited number of channels into one sound stream through software mixing. Tracks have a fixed number of rows on which notes and effects can be placed. Most trackers lay out tracks in a vertical fashion. Tracks typically contain 64 rows and 16 beats, although the beats and tempo can be increased or decreased to the composer's taste. A basic drum set could thus be arranged by putting a bass drum at rows 0, 4, 8, 12 etc. of one track and putting some hi-hat at rows 2, 6, 10, 14 etc. of a second track. Of course bass and hats could be interleaved on the same track, if the samples are short enough. If not, the previous sample is usually stopped when the next one begins. Some modern trackers simulate polyphony in a single track by setting the new note action of each instrument to cut, continue, fade out, or release, opening new mixing channels as necessary. A pattern is a group of simultaneously played tracks that represents a full section of the song. A pattern usually represents an even number of measures of music composition. An order is part of a sequence of patterns which defines the layout of a song. Patterns can be repeated across multiple orders to save tracking time and file space. There are also some tracker-like programs that utilize tracker-style sequencing schemes, while using real-time sound synthesis instead of samples. Many of these programs are designed for creating music for a particular synthesizer chip such as the OPL chips of the AdLib and SoundBlaster sound cards, or the sound chips of classic home computers. Tracker music is typically stored in module files where the song data and samples are encapsulated in a single file. Several module file formats are supported by popular music player programs such as Winamp or XMMS. Well-known formats include MOD, MED, S3M, XM and IT. Many of these formats can also be imported into existing trackers, allowing to view arrangement, instrumentation and the use of effect commands. This also makes the self-teaching of music composition using trackers easier and allows to extract instruments for later use in own songs, which was very common. Topic. Use in professional music The hardcore techno scene has had many releases originally written using trackers and released on CD and vinyl. Notable artists include Nasenbluten, Noisekick, Neophyte and Deadmau5, also in video game soundtracks tracker music was used by notable artists as Andrew Sega, Alexander Brandon, Dan Gardape and Peter Haba. Video game developer Niklas Nigren used Fast Tracker 2 in his early works e knit stories, to compose the video game music. Topic. Selected list of music trackers Topic. Windows, Mac OS, and Linux Topic. Interpreted platforms These trackers run in virtual machines. Frinica, Java Jeskala Buzz. Net Framework Pulseboy, Adobe Flash Ztracker, Java Topic Atari Street, STE, Falcon Street Soundtracker, Equinox, 1990, Audio Sculpture, Synchron Assembly, 1990, ProTracker STE, Equinox, 1991, Octalizer, Code and Allen F, 1992, Megatracker, Simplet and Axel Fale, 1994, DBE Tracker, Saint Ghost, 1995, Digital Tracker, Emmanuel Jackard, 1996, Graumf Tracker, Laurent de Soras, 1996, Digital Home Studio, Emmanuel Jackard, 1997, Flextrax, Thomas Bergstrom, 2000, Ace Tracker, Thomas Bergstrom, 2002, Maximizer, Gareth Morris, GWEM, 2005, Hextracker, Paolo Simos, 2011. 
Topic Commodore 8 bit machines C64 plus 4 C16 JCH editor by JCH a well established C64 tracker from the 90s still in use today by professional SID composers SDI by 6R6 resembles JCH editor it supports a MIDI interface types 2x SID by Jeff has JCH style interface as well with many instrument settings ninja tracker by cadaver a simple but powerful tracker with low C CPU usage, a few raster lines time, SID Wizard by Hermit, a full featured C64 tracker with big UI and MIDI file and input support. One raster tracker, Hermit, produces music in the time frame of a single raster line, CCA. 63 microseconds. Ted Zacker, Hermit, tracker for the Ted chip of Plus 4 and Commodore 16 with innovative sound tricks. Topic. Amiga Ultimate Sound Tracker, Karsten Obarski, 1987. Pro Tracker, Lars Hammer, Anders Hammer, Sven Vossen, Rune Jansrud, 1990. Octomed, 1989, Teho Kinunen. Noise Tracker, Pex Tuvison, Anders Berkman, 1989. Audio Sculpture, Radium, Digibooster. Topic. DOS Scream Tracker Sammy Tomaletto, 1990 Modedit Fast Tracker Triton Demo Crew, 1995 Impulse Tracker Jeffrey Lim, 1995 Sound Club PRIIT Kassessalu, Ati Heinla, Jan Tallinn, Estonia, 1993, SN, MOD MIDI Modules Digitracker, Prodatron. Topic: Other operating systems. Allows users to create music for one system on another. Usually uses emulation to produce sound. Some of trackers also can use real sound chips connected to host system. Chibatracker 2006, Juan Linietsky Chibatracker has a new open source license and runs on FreeBSD, BIOS and Nintendo DS. Houston Tracker 2 2015, Ehrlicht Project An open source tracker for the Texas Instruments TI-82, TI-83, 82S TATS, and TI-83+, 84+, SE calculators. Little GP Tracker 2009 Little GP Tracker is aimed at the GP2X handheld console but also runs on PSP, Windows, macOS and Linux. Little Sound DJ Johan Katlinski Game Boy Milky Tracker 2008 Piles et al Milky Tracker has a GPL open source license and runs on Linux, FreeBSD, Windows, Windows CE, macOS, Xbox 360, Eros and Amigaus 4. An unofficial port for Android is available on Google Play. It supports mod and XM module files and attempts to recreate the user experience of Fast Tracker 2. Nitro Tracker, Tobias Wayland, 2006, GPL, Nintendo DS. Propulse Tracker, Joel Toivonen, 2016-2017, GPL, Linux, macOS, Windows, https colon slash slash github.com slash huckix slash propulse. Schism Tracker, 2003, Mrs. Brisby, Storlick et al., GPL licensed for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, FreeBSD, Wii, Pandora, Console, and further platforms with GCC4 and SDL support. Based on a highly modified version of the ModPlug engine as a re-implementation of Impulse Tracker for modern operating systems. Sound Tracker, Jaroslaw Brzezinski, 1990, Public Domain Sound Tracker sequenced the three channels of the i38910 audio chip on the 128K models of ZX Spectrum. Though the instruments were referred to as samples, they were chip-generated sounds. The user is able to modify each sample via use of amplitude envelopes, noise frequency envelopes and pitch modifications. When these samples were played in the tracker they could also be modified by arpeggios referred to as ornaments. 
A second program, Saint Compiler, allowed Soundtracker songs to be integrated into other code. Sunvox 2011, Alex Zolotov Sunvox is freeware for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Palm OS and Windows Mobile Windows CE, and available commercially for the iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad and Android. Goat Tracker by Cadaver, targets the Commodore 64 SID chip, highly optimizes the exported files. Cheesecutter by Abaddon, based on the format of JCH Editor for the Commodore 64. Bassoon Tracker, a tracker running in the web browser. http colon slash slash ww.stef. B Bassoon Tracker. Topic. See also Category Tracker Musicians Computer Game Music Modular Software Music Studio List of Music Software Topic Further Reading Rene T. A. Lysloff, Leslie C. Gay, two thousand three Music and Techniculture Illustrated Ed. Wesleyan University Press. pp. 37 to 38, 5058. ISBN 9780819565136. Topic: External Links. Andrew Necros Sega Taking Tracking Mainstream Tracker History Presentation on the Noticon April 27, 2007 Tracker History Graphing Project Lineage of Music Trackers by Claudio Matsuoka accessed April 2013 The Tracker's Handbook An Introduction to Tracking